Welcome back to Dow Twang. I'm Dave. We got kind of a slow groove here. It's a Dorian jam. It's two chords. It's A minor. Okay, and G. The G's major. It's a real simple, you know, letting a lot of space in there. Not a lot of strumming. Okay, and that'll be your uh, backing track to practice with at the end of this lesson. So, Dorian. Now, there's a few things that we can do with this. You know, Dorian's just one of them, and there's actually a couple of different um, key analysis that you could do on it, um, and we're not going to you know, cover all those just for the sake of their um, existence because we, we want to talk specifically about this one today. Um, but I always get really good questions in the comments when, when we do this, because somebody almost always will say, well, couldn't that also be a, you know, a different progression if we kind of framed it in a different key study? Yeah. So I really like those comments. Those, those open up a lot of good discussions uh, on the channel. But today we're going with Dorian. So Dorian is a mode that's built off the second degree, the minor, the two um, column in a major key study, okay? Don't worry about the isms and asms and that. Here's the, 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 the down and dirty on it. So let's say we're in G. G. G is our one chord, G major, okay? So this, our scale then would be the G major scale. Okay, the Do, Re, Mi for G. Now, I like to call it a river of notes. Picture a piano. If you just go from G to G playing that scale, there's an F sharp in there, by the way. There's one black key in the key of G. Um, you know, if you take that out down the lower way and up the higher way on the keyboard, you've got a continuous, you know, river of that sequence, right? It's not just from here to here. That's how you define the scale, the starting and stopping point or the mode. But that key of G major is every key on that piano that's included in there. Think of your guitar the same way. Sometimes it's harder to imagine the guitar that way um, or perceive it that way. So, if we play those same notes, the same sequence, but we start on the second degree instead of the first one, which is A, we get a mode and a scale called Dorian, okay? Now, you know, go off to the side, Think about that, ponder it, work on it, work some stuff out, you know, try some different, you know, ways of getting from here to there, you know, along with what I just described, and then get your ear, you know, acclimated to that. So I'm going to play in this fifth position, and the sequence is going to be... You can see you can yell. You, you're already, you know, sneaking around some buried treasure there, right? There's something in there. You can feel it, right? You can hear that deeper feeling on some of those notes, okay? But the, you know, you can also just warm up on it and kind of get, get, like I said, acclimated to it, um, both with your hand and with your ear, your musical brain. By just kind of wandering up and down that scale, okay? Now, like most of us, we soon tire of wandering, and we're like, yeah, okay, let's, you know, what can I do that's really musical with this? 
Well, here in just a few minutes, I hope to show you a simple program that will let that happen for you. Okay, and here we go. Just want to mention one other thing, a couple of other things along with the Dorian is that there's other pentatonic approaches to this that work really well. And um, we're going to check on those quickly here, okay? So A minor pentatonic. Now, um, over the A minor works great. Now, when I go to the G... That gets a little clunky, doesn't it? So one thing you can do is switch over to G major pentatonic for the G. That's a nice little program. I'm going to leave this on for a second. Another thing that works great here for theoretical reasons that we don't have to, you know, completely slice and dice right now is that G major pentatonic over the whole thing. really nice. That gives you a different flavor over the A minor and the G, but it all works together. That's a nice, simple plan for this kind of jam. And this isn't just for this video or this backing track. This 2-1 type progression happens all the time in popular guitar music and rock uh, music. So, you know, you're learning something right now that's going to, you, you know, it's going to pop up all the time. You're going to be ready for it with, with these skills. So a couple of pentatonic ideas there, right? And then we already talked about um, the Dorian. So, you know, what if we do a little, you know, back and forth and kind of, you know, mix this into uh, do a little cooking here, right? we got our ingredients, but what, what kind of flavor do we really want? You know, want some of that richer Dorian modal sound, but I also like just the slow bluesy stuff, okay? Best of both worlds. Okay, A minor pentatonic right here. G major. into some of that pentatonic, right? And now I'm, you know, fishing out a couple, you know, aiming for a few chord tones in there. Let me just unpack a little bit of that, what we just did right there, and slow it down and go off to the side and really look at it. Okay, so first you want to couple, you want to really have this, these two pentatonic systems under your fingers. Now that takes time, but um, of course this one for A minor. And up here, the different note that when you switch over to that G major pentatonic 
you know, one of them is here, you get that, that, that major third of the G. Okay, that's a really neat change. Let me just kind of really uh, 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 feature that right here real quick in simple phrasings, in simple note sequences. So... That's a nice, you know, we could talk about the theory involved in that a lot more, but, you know, the, the important part is that your ear, that you hear that and that you can kind of see those pentatonic patterns and make adjustments as, as you're playing, right? So even if we're using the G major pentatonic uh, method mostly through this piece and maybe, maybe... Um, your program is I'm doing a lot of G major pentatonic and I'm mixing the Dorian in with that just to keep it a little bit more, you know, keep the wheels on it a little bit more at first, right? That's a great program and it'll sound great. Then if you want to really, um, uh, uh, you know, throw in one more little spicy ingredient there, you can put that A blues scale, A minor pentatonic, blue scale type of thing in at different places over the A minor. But, you know, don't, don't worry about all that cat juggling all at once. A really good program for this, and then I'll get you to your practice, would be this um, G major pentatonic mixed in with uh, A Dorian. chord tones or some triad shapes. showing you a lot at once in a few of these passes that I'm doing but you know as always once you see something or hear something and you're like that you know, let me just look at that and when, when and when that shows up in your version of it just t take those you know make those kind of your 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 bases right you're like okay you know even if it's just a two or three note you know area um and, and, and work from that. Then you go back, you know, you, you work out on that a couple of days, you come back and watch one of these videos again, and you're like, oh man, okay. You don't need to do everything that I'm doing, but you can see like, okay, that's it right there. I can see he switched over to the Dorian. I can see he's just doing like A minor blues, you know, pentatonic lick right there. And, you know, you don't have to, analyze every bit of your playing you don't really want to but you know it's kind of it's kind of cool it's kind of fun when you when you when you're watching other players and even when you're like riding around in the car and you hear it and you're like oh I, that i can almost see this even though i've heard this song a thousand times before now i can like see somebody's hand like playing that right so um 
Let me know how this goes. And uh, good news coming up here at the beginning of the year. We've had a lot of support um, this year um, from you all. And I just appreciate it so much. I try to, you know, interact with everybody one-on-one through the emails and stuff. But because of that love, we're going to be able to really upgrade some of our equipment. And, um, you know, I don't want to carry on about it too much, but I'm pretty stoked about it. I think it's going to be cool. I think you're going to like it too. So uh, take care. Have a great weekend. And I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.